What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and today obviously we're not in our shop. We're back at Sam's and we're continuing on our SEMA project with Sam from Koichi Motors with our CRX twin turbo build. And as you can see, we got the front bumper on and we are in the process of trying to figure out clearance. Now, the radiator is pretty tight in here. This is originally an NA setup and our head flange is right there. So we are gonna be running Garrett's intercooler core on this car. We're gonna be running the four inch intercooler core. So it's gonna be going all the way across the whole front of this opening. We also have this upper radiator line that's gonna be in the way. So we might have to do something with that. And we have some shift cables and other things. So the big thing that I wanna do is try to get as much stuff in my way as possible. And as you can see, it's getting pretty tight. So we're gonna be running two inch stainless steel bends from Stainless Brothers. We use this material on pretty much everything we do. Really good stuff. So we'll be using that. We also have some head flanges here from Send Cut Send. I'm assuming Sam went ahead and drew these up. I've never used Send Cut Send before because I'm not good with computers. So this is pretty much where we're at. Gonna go ahead and cut these open now, get these bolted on the heads and continue figuring out exactly how much room we have. We also have this weird stabilizer bar thing that is in our way. So it looks like the front header is gonna be a pain in the butt, and but the rear header looks like it's gonna be a little easier to deal with. So we just have to get everything mocked up and then we're gonna go ahead and use, this is a Garrett G30 turbo off of the DeLorean. I got this one just for mock up and we have another one on the way because we're just running out of time and we're gonna go ahead and position those in the car. So for right now, we're gonna continue bolting as much stuff on the engine as possible before we will go ahead and position our turbos and then we'll start connecting the dots. All right, we got our flanges in. One thing I'm noticing is trying to get a clear path for the exhaust. So right now we got the radiator pitched back. It's nice and flat against the surface here. We're at zero. So we're gonna have a good amount of room to come through here. Not really sure what we're gonna do about that fan, but we'll figure it out. Went ahead and got our shift cable in for our sequential gearbox. And right now I'm focusing my attention on this rear motor mount. So you see how big this thing is? I wanna be able to put a pipe through there, maybe even two. I think the best way to do that is to probably get rid of this lower half and then do something inside of there as far as some pipe work goes. So I think first things first is I need to get it out of there. So I'm gonna go ahead and get a floor jack under the back side of the transmission and unbolt that, get that out of there and see what we can do once we get it on the bench. All right guys, we got our fixture all set. So now we can start cutting up our factory mount. Now the idea behind this is to get rid of all this girth right here. So we could be able to get a three inch pipe through that hole. So without the motor mount, you can see how much space we have to get stuff through there. So what we're probably gonna do is we're gonna cut this back. We're just gonna plate it, cut all this out, leave this base plate that bolts to the actual engine. And then we're gonna come off of here with this same tubing then come straight up and then do a little gusset here and then do a little something inside and that's going to free up all of this space inside here. So modifying this thing is probably going to be our best bet. And we also got a collector from Vibrant in the mail. So we'll be able to start on our rear header. So let's go ahead and get this situated first, get it back in the car, see how it fits. And then we'll start working on how we're going to get this header made. expected <laughs> so uh, we got our new motor mount so next time you want to do something like this guys all you need is a partial fixture so you just need to point A point B cut it up make your connecting points now we're gonna be able to have enough room to you know put stuff beside it so we're gonna go ahead and put this in the car now see what it looks like We've just been burning the candle at both ends as it always goes with SEMA builds. But for right now, I just want to bring up speed as to what we got. 
and we, we are on the build. So we got our radiator in, everything is mounted up. We extended these bottom plates where the radiator originally was. We had a lower mount put in by P2P for the alternator. So there's a low mount kit of the alternator. Originally I think is up top or something. So that allows it to clear the headlight and get this big old V6 inside the front of the CRX. Oh, and we also mocked up our intercooler core. So I made this guy out of cardboard and this will go right here. So the radiator's a little offset and that's just for the lines here. And we're gonna center the intercooler core right there. So Garrett is sending the radiator or the intercooler core and the turbos right now. And we should be able to have all the components in the, in the engine bay probably in the next couple days. For right now though, we're finally able to position our vibrant performance collector. So we have a three to one collector down there. We're still undecided as to where the collector is gonna sit on the back side of the engine. So we probably wanna get the turbos in first, but we know that the front is gonna be just like that. And this up pipe's probably gonna come up here. And this turbo is not the one we're gonna use, but it's kind of for mock-up. So this one's gonna be right here. And then the other one probably back here, something like that. I have the vision in my mind of like a GTR, RB26 or something like that, where there's like the two turbos like on an angle and it feeds everything in. But for right now, we got our collector position where we want it. And we're gonna go ahead and take all this off, get it out of the way. We're gonna tack some bars from the flange to the collector and then get that out of there and build a fixture on the bench. So we can probably run this first primary. And then once we clear the alternator, then we could run the other two. Hopefully by then we'll have our turbos to start positioning them. So we're gonna pull apart the whole front end now, start tacking our flange to our collector and start making that fixture. All right, so we almost got this thing on the ropes. We have the first two primaries done. The big focus was to try to get these to jog around this alternator. So we went and got this alternator bracket, got this thing installed. This plug is gonna come out here. We don't wanna cook the backside of this thing. So getting this to jog back and kind of come under to this primary was ideal. And then we're gonna have this guy right here, kind of sitting inside of that pocket so that we can do another 90 and come around the front and then come back up. That's kind of the hope. So what I'm trying to do right now is just make sure that I'm not gonna hit anything on the block, which it looks like I got miles. So I'm gonna go ahead and probably take this back off of the of the car, put it back on the bench fixture and finish this one out. And this one's gonna be nice and twisty and go back there. We'll put it on one last time, see how it looks, and then we'll break it apart and start final welding it. The reason we put the collector down here, guys, also is this slave cylinder. I want to keep the heat away from that. And then we have a radiator fan right over here. So everything is going to be nice and managed when it comes to the heat, especially with a turbo car. These things are going to get pretty hot. So we're going to go ahead and run this last primary now, get the collector fitment where we need it. Then we'll break it all down, start final welding, put it all back together and then see what it looks like. All right guys, we're at the last stages for the forward header. And as you can see, we changed this primary, squishing this all together. This originally was coming over here. 
And the problem with that is it was hitting the radiator fan. So we are very limited on space in this car. So it was hitting the edge of that fan. So I went ahead and moved that in. So now we're gonna go ahead and break this all down, clean it all up, final weld it, and put it in the car and see exactly what it looks like. And don't stop watching now because we're gonna do a full breakdown of this car at the end of this episode and show you exactly the nuts and bolts of this thing and what's gonna power all four wheels. So stick around. I know some of you guys click off real quick. So don't go anywhere. We're gonna start welding now. All right guys, header's pretty much done. It is two o'clock. We started at like 10.30, welding this thing up, and I'm pretty happy how it came out. Check it out. It's kind of like your old school V8 header from like a hot rod or something, but it just kind of turned out that way. So we're gonna see how she fits. Oh yeah, look at that. That's gonna be perfect. So there's plenty of room on the alternator. Went ahead and moved this over for the radiator fan, and we got plenty of clearance on the transmission. So. The idea is to come up here and then go into one of the turbos and then we'll do the same thing on the back side but the back header is not going to go like this it's going to be a completely different uh, orientation so we're going to go ahead and bolt this up get the radiator on put our front piece on make sure all the clearance fits and everything like that and then i will show you guys all around this car and exactly what it has going on before we end this episode but that looks pretty cool pretty happy with that We got our header in, everything clears nice. We got a full hand everywhere. That's kind of like the gauge you want to use is a full hand. So header came out awesome. We have plenty of room to come up here to, for the turbo. We went ahead and got our rear motor mount in, fabbed up one of those two to get more clearance to be able to get the downpipes through this hole. Once the header's in here, we'll probably run one, run one downpipe that way and another downpipe up here. Not 100% sure yet. I don't really want to finalize that header or start working on it until I get the, the Garrett turbos in the bay. But briefly, this is a P2R I'm racing J35 V6 out of a Honda Accord or Passport. Yeah, you know, they ran these V6s in a lot of Honda cars. And apparently the J series engines are extremely popular. And after seeing this thing and knowing about P2R and what those guys do, kinda on the fence on running one of these engines in one of the DeLoreans. I think that'd be pretty cool. Comment below if you guys think so. So this is a Civic SI or a CRX SI running Wilwood six piston, piston brakes in the front and I think the rear. It's got fiberglass doors. These are composite doors, as you can see, super light. Really simple race dash. It's got the Quaif sequential shifter in there which is pretty awesome. Not a lot to see inside of here. Got a nice little fuel cell and then a giant winner's quick change in the back of this thing. And as you can see, it's tied into the roll cage. So it's not going anywhere. Sam designed this really cool inboard brake system to keep the weight inside and off the uh, wheels so you don't have all that unsprung weight. And then of course it's got a chassis mounted rear wing. So this should be putting down about, I think it's 600 horsepower and it's got you know, CRXs are light already, but it's got fiberglass glass doors, Lexan glass all throughout. There's like nothing inside the interior. It's got carbon fiber race buckets that he's going to put in the car a little bit later. And I'm not sure if this is off the shelf parts. I know that all wheel drive Hondas are a thing now. This full cast aluminum piece for your trailing arm, for the upper camber arm, and the coilover mount. Really cool billet part right there. Oh, and it's got this really nice drag wing on the backside. The body kit will be completely different for SEMA, so I can't show you guys what that's gonna look like. Side exit titanium exhaust. So yeah, full Haltech systems going in the car, and they're dialing all that stuff in as we speak. And uh, we have about, I don't know, a month and a half to finish this thing. So Sam's quite ambitious. But next episode, guys, we'll be continuing on the turbo system. We're basically gonna be doing this build series as we go, so you'll be experiencing the build as we do it. So next episode, we will have turbos we're going to be putting those in the engine bay getting those positioned 
and laying out our rear header. That's probably about the most we'll be able to get done in that episode. And then we'll be continuing on with the cold side and just finishing out everything. So this is our intercooler that we made up just so we get an idea as to what's going on with that, where it's gonna be laying. So uh, thanks for watching guys, thanks for subscribing. Comment below if you like the project and if you have any questions about it, I'll have Sam relay that information over to you guys and we'll see you on the next episode. Thanks a lot, peace.